The side of the day features tender pieces of cauliflower and potatoes simmered with cumin and coriander. I'm using this ginger garlic paste, three cloves of garlic, maybe a tablespoon of ginger grated finely. Add a little bit of water in here. And for the spices, I'm gonna add coriander powder, ground coriander. This comes from the seeds of the cilantro plant. It's really floral, uh, lemony, a little grassy. It's really lovely. And a little turmeric. This has some nice earthiness and will give this dish a great color. Okay, so that's done. Stir, stir, stir. That's gonna go into that pan in a second. First, sweet little serrano pepper makes a reappearance. This time I'm just gonna slit it down the middle, not all the way, so it's still kind of connected. Throw that into my oil. That way you get more of the flavor, not as much spice. And while that's sizzling, I'm gonna get a teaspoon of cumin seeds, whole cumin seeds, nice smoky, nutty flavor. Oh, I'm gonna throw this in the oil, let it sizzle. Stand back. <laughs> it's gonna start spluttering, which is very good. It's totally a good sign. And now, let me get a little spoon here ready. I'm gonna add the wet masala to the hot oil. Be careful, because it will sizzle and splutter a lot. See that? That is good. Okay, so that's gonna thicken, kind of deepen in color. I'm just gonna cook it for two minutes. And you'll know it's ready, because you can see the oil kind of oozing out of the masala, the spice mix. That means it's time to move. I'm just chopping up a russet potato. I peeled it. And I've got my masala for it cooking away in that last pan over there. It's gonna go so well with the cauliflower and the potatoes. This was something that we had practically once a week growing up. It's, you know, one of those staple vegetable dishes. We always had a vegetable on the table. And this was often one of them. So follow me as I put it into the pan here. I have this great big serrano pepper in there. So it's being just a little bit spicy. So I'm just gonna toss my vegetables with those spices. I have to tell you, this is one of the vegetables that is really delicate. It's not gonna be really overpowering in flavor. So if you're not used to Indian food or if you find the spicing too heavy, this is a great one to get you started. Look how it takes on that golden color from the turmeric. I'm gonna add just a touch of salt in here and then a smidge of water, about half a cup. And then I'm gonna cover this essentially and let it steam for like 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna take the lid off, let it cook uncovered so some of that water evaporates, get a little bit of color on these lovely vegetables. <gasps> so excited about this. I'm gonna let these cook until they get kind of soft. I know that we're accustomed to having kind of crunchy vegetables and I love them too, but this tastes better when it's soft and comforting. Oh my God, it's so good. And then a little cauliflower. Hmm. It's just so delicate. I love that you can just, just taste the coriander, the cumin running through that. 